Sometimes I look at a lot of the retro tech and computers that I use and wonder, could this just be a program on my more powerful computer today? And then I think about a scene from a movie I love that I unapologetically love even though people found it cringe in high school, and that's Die Hard 4, Live Free or Die Hard. In that scene, Justin Long's character had a computer set up where it showed the desktop icons and he had individual shortcuts for GameCube and other game consoles as if they were just programs on his computer. Obviously emulation exists and there have been plenty of times where I just took, say, Dolphin and renamed it and changed the icon to, say, GameCube or whatever. But I always just wonder, like, what would it be like to be able to just run these things as an app from the computer? Well, it turns out, as of a couple years ago, there's a GitHub project where it just turns Windows 95 into a desktop program. It runs on Windows, Mac, and Linux. It is a few years old at this point, and clearly they got overrun with issue requests on GitHub and have not updated it since, so that's unfortunate. There are some things that don't entirely work, but for the most part, it is a functional Windows 95 desktop. It does not have network access from what I can tell, but you can boot into it, run some programs. It comes with a couple games preloaded, like Doom and a weird Pac-Man clone and Sim Tower. You can change settings, you can customize the classic wallpapers, or dive into the screensavers. Ah, the 3D pipes get me every time. The space one is the one I saw the most on, like, work computers. And of course, the the, the maze, the, and the, the Wolfenstein looking kind of maze set up, and then the Mystic one was always so cool looking. These stupid little things made technology feel a lot more fun. This used to be the entirety of your computer, of your operating system. This one hard drive that had um, barely any storage on it and a handful of programs. And this used to be all you can do. And at this point, it is contained entirely within a pretty small program that I can run on my computer. Now you can technically run games in this, as I mentioned, I did run into some issues switching it to 256 color mode to run the DOS games like Doom. And like I said, it has not been updated, so don't expect it to work. If you really want a game on something like this, you should just use a proper virtualization app or DOSBox or something. But it's a fun little experiment just to see what used to be my entire computer experience for a big beige desktop tower packed into a tiny little app that I can just run from my application menu, even on my Mac here. It's mind-blowing how far technology has come. Remember to be kind, rewind. Rewind.